Hello, and welcome to Airship Pirate's World. Today I'm going to be showing you the basic operations of the airships of Airship Pirate's World. So, let's say that uh, you finally amassed the necessary money. Maybe you've been running foot cargo for a while, or maybe you've uh, been mining, and you've gotten enough that you can purchase your first airship, a merchantman. So you will go up to the airship merchant in whatever city you are operating out of, and you will right-click on them, and in their inventory you'll see several airships for sale. Uh, you'll note the cheapest one is the Merchantman, and that is intended to be the first airship you get. So I'm going to click on that, it says you bought one for 4000 that's what it costs. Alright, now I want to place that so that I can get my new airship. I can't place it inside the town, and you can't place it in protected airspace either. It has to be completely free and unclaimed land, or your own land. So I'm going to hop in this little boat, and we're going to go outside the protected airspace. It'll just take me a minute to get over there. And as you can see, you see that uh, there's a uh, uh, block of ice up there. That's where we're going to place the airship, because that happens to be just outside the protected airspace. And here we are. Okay, and it says, you are leaving South Haven Protected Airspace. Okay, and I'll just, uh, I'll clean up that boat later. Uh, all right, so I'm going to hop on top of this ice block. Now, to place this airship, I'm going to put, put a block of dirt down, and then I'm going to uh, place the actual airship box on top of that dirt. Why am I going to do that? Well, so that the airship does not merge with the ocean. Right click it, hey look, there it is, and there is my new airship in mint condition. Now to get up there, uh, you see how it's a little bit above the ocean, that's important so it doesn't mer merge with the ocean. So I brought this dirt with me. I recommend you always have at least some dirt or anything else you can use to pillar, or in other words, build your way out of if you ever get stuck somewhere. Uh, so just some way to, to get yourself out of whatever situation you uh, get stuck in. Uh, and since I'm a courteous player, I will of course clean up the dirt after myself. I'm not going to leave some dirt hanging in this ocean. I'm just going to clean that up real quick. And that one too. Alright, finally I am on board my airship. Now, there was a sign right here. And it says, place private sign here. Okay, uh, And that's an important first note that as soon as you get your airship, the first thing I would recommend that you do is to lock your airship. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to remove this sign, the, the one that simply says place your sign here. So the way you're going to claim the airship so that other people can't steal it is by locking all of the entrances. The reason that we do that is so that if you're a pirate, you can steal someone's airship, but you can't steal it if it's in a protected area. We'll get in more into that later, but okay, so I'll start with this one on top. So it says place private sign here. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of that sign. And I'm going to replace it with a sign that says simply private. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then it's going to fill in your name for you. And of course, in this case, Bucky R, right? Okay, and then we're going to go back down. Uh, you can also lock the containers on your vessel. In this case, I'm going to lock this chest right here. Because I'm going to be doing some merchant uh, uh, cargo missions, and I don't want someone to sneak onto my airship when I'm not looking. Maybe he gets through the doors somehow and, uh, and, and take what I have from that chest. And you go through and you, you do this on every chest uh, on the ship. Now, in the interest of time, I'm not going to do all of them right now, uh, but there you have it. Okay, and then the last thing to do is the main entrance which uh, I guess I got rid of that little dirt sooner than I probably should have. So I'll put myself on a little ledge here, and I will add a sign. I'm holding down shift when I right click, by the way. That's so that it doesn't simply open the door. And once again, private, okay. Now no one can open that door but me. Now if you've got people who are helping you, you know, you're in a uh, partnership with some other players, uh, which is a great idea, and, and you should absolutely do that. Uh, you can also add their name on here. So you can have more than one name on this sign. Uh, and uh, if you run out of space on this sign, you can still add even more. 
Uh, I'll show you how to do that in a different video. Uh, this is just kind of the basics. All right, and once again, I'm a courteous player, so I will clean up my dirt. Okay. So those signs uh, will protect all of those uh, from other players. Uh, they can, however, be destroyed with explosives. Uh, so in a battle, uh, your signs could be destroyed, or if you're a pirate, you loot someone else's ship, and if I want what's in that chest, then I'd place some TNT next to it, and I basically blow the lock off, all right? Now, of course, as you can imagine, there's some risk there, right? Because that chest might be empty, or it might be full of wheat, or something that's not worth very much, and I just wasted my TNT. So, you know, there's a, there's a certain uh, give and take in the whole looting uh, system. All right, but let's get to the good part. So now we're gonna take command of our new airship. All you do is you right-click on the sign which says airship. If this was a sub airship or a submersible airship, it would say sub airship or big airship or air skiff for one of the little fighters and so on. You right click like that and it says, okay, successfully piloted craft, size, and it tells you the size. Very good. Now, there's the first thing I wanna show you is the most best basic form of motion in Movecraft, which is you take out the stick, which is the basic piloting tool, and you simply right-click in the direction you want the airship to travel. Uh, and I've got debugging mode turned on, that's why you see those little map update took. Uh, just ignore that, you won't see that uh, unless, well, unless you're me. <laughs> um, but as you can see, you know, if I, if I face down and I right-click, the airship moves down. If I face up, it moves up. If I face forward and I right-click, it moves forward. You'll also note, it's kind of slow. I'm not getting closer to those buildings very quickly right? Uh, but it does allow precision control. So you would typically use this for docking maneuvers uh, to get yourself right where you need to be uh, to dock your airship, okay? Uh, and then there are other methods of controlling the airship. The next thing I will show you is the cruise sign. If I have the airship faced in the direction I want to travel, I can right click on the cruise colon off sign. It will switch to on and the airship will travel forward more quickly. And now you can see I am approaching that city more quickly. I'm just gonna stop there. The next thing is the helm sign. That's this uh, kind of strange wheel icon thing. If I right click on it, the ship will turn right. If I left click on it, the ship will turn left. It's that simple. And then you have the ascend and descend signs. They work like the cruise. If I right click on ascend, the ship goes up. Uh, and if I right click on descend, it goes down. Uh, oh, and in case you didn't notice that, I right click to turn it on, I right click again to turn it off. Same with the cruise. And another thing to show you is the repair feature. Okay? So I have this repair sign. Uh, in this case, it's in the middle of the uh, merchantman. And it says repair merchantman face ship north before using. Uh, now, if I had more than one merchantman, I would want to change this sign so that it said repair colon merchantman one, merchantman two, merchantman three, uh, especially if those merchantmen have slightly different configurations. Like let's say I add some guns on the side of one of them or something like that. Uh, that just gives you a way to differentiate the different repair states. So the repair system uses states. You start by left clicking on the repair sign, which I'll do now, and it says state save. What that means is it has remembered what the airship looked like at this particular point in time. Now, let me just look at my... Okay, so I was facing... The airship is currently facing south, which I could tell by hitting F3 and looking at the facing south. Um, and as the sign says, I should be facing north when I use that sign. The only reason why is because it's critical that the airship face in the same direction when you save the state as when you attempt a repair, all right? Uh, otherwise, it doesn't know, let's see, it's not aware of which way the ship is facing because there's not really a good way for it to detect that. So it, it just has to be shaping, I'm sorry, it has to be facing the same way when you save the state as when you use the sign. Uh, and if your ship has turrets, or a cargo bay door, or anything like that, all of those have to be in the same position when you use the sign, either to save the state or to attempt to repair. 
All right, so I'm now going to do this again now that my ship is actually facing north. And it says, okay, stay safe. If I right click on this, it says total damage blocks zero. So left click saves the state, right click attempts a repair. In this case, it's telling me there is no damage on this ship, so it's not going to repair this. No matter how much I right click, nothing's happening. But let's say there was damage. Let's say uh, this sign got destroyed. So I'm going to remove that sign. Okay. Now if I right click, it says total damage blocks one, because there is actually a damage block. It says supplies needed, sign one. And it's going to take $10 to effect the repair. It is going to pull those supplies from a chest anywhere on the ship. Okay. Uh, so I will put a sign, actually first let me show you what it does if there aren't enough supplies. So sometimes this list can get really long, right? And you need 400 wool, you need 30 slabs, you need a ton of things. So if you right click twice in a row, it will attempt the repair, and then it will say, tell you what it actually still needs. So it looked in all the chests of the ship and it found that it still needed one sign, okay? Uh, so you do that if, if your ship has, if you have a bunch of supplies, which you should, you should always fly with spare supplies, spare parts, uh, and it, that tells you what you're still missing. And all I need to do is put the sign in there, and I will right click twice, and it will say repairs underway, and it's done already. So it just took it a second, because that was a very simple repair. If that was a complicated repair, it might have taken several minutes for it to complete. So that's the repair system. For a merchantman like this, it's probably not a huge deal because they're not designed for combat. But once you get into the warships, uh, repairs become very important. The last thing to show you is the uh, locking mechanism. So every airship you can purchase has some kind of a lock on it. And it's very simple. It's just a lever next to a piston. The way the system works is you right click, the piston is extended, and this ship cannot be piloted. I go to the front here and try to pilot this thing. Uh, if I right-click on this, it says, Forbidden block was found on the craft. And the reason we do that is to keep people from being able to steal your airship by, for example, attaching their own airship to it, a larger airship, and trying to tow it away. Uh, it's, so this is just the locking mechanism to prevent theft. And as you can see, it's very simple. I'll release it by simply right-clicking again, and now the ship can be safely piloted. All right. Now, um, you, there's a couple things you need to be aware of. All of the airships, when you buy them, they come empty. So if it was a warship, there would be no ammo on any of the guns. That, well, we'll typically put one round in the various magazines, just so you know where you're supposed to put the TNT and the fireballs and so on. And the same thing goes for the fuel. There is a small amount of charcoal here, but not enough to get you anywhere. So make sure you bring charcoal with you, or coal if you prefer coal. Uh, so I will load coal into that furnace so that I'm not going to run out of fuel getting to where I'm trying to go. Make sure you bring coal, make sure you bring food, because you don't want to starve to death on your uh, first voyage. Make sure you bring dirt. In case you fall out, uh, you can use sand, gravel, or dirt in the protected airspace to get back to your ship if you fall out of it. Uh, and also, I would make sure you bring a weapon, because sometimes you can have monsters that spawn inside or on top of your airship, and you'll need to be able to deal with those monsters. Well, that's about it. So, happy flying and may a favorable wind always follow you.